You can so play. Let's race with colors. Special winter holiday time races. Woo! Team Blue. Winter Wonderland Thomas, Christmas Light Sydney, Christmas Time Thomas. Team Green, Snow Covered Percy, Luke, Jack Frost Percy. Team Red, Snowy James, Young Bao, and Mike. Team Yellow, Stepney, Royal Bunting Steven, and Sodor Weather Tracker. Team Purple, Snowy Rosie, Ashima, and Charlie. And finally, Team White. Welcome Stanley, Merlin the Completely Visible, and the candy cane car. What's the first color gonna be? Pink. Team Purpley Pink, you're gonna pick who? Snowy Rosie, this is her old colors. She's got that reef on her and look at all that snow. Do you like Snowy Rosie? Oh, look at Rosie. Wow, she made it all the way to the gold track. 34 inches, it's a Christmas miracle for Rosie. Blue. Team Blue, I wonder who we're gonna pick. Oh, Sydney. This is a special Sydney. He's got those Christmas lights on him. We only have them out for winter. Wow, this is a really great track, unreal. Sydney fell all the way down and took out the winter holiday train at the winter holiday station. How does that make you feel? Boo hoo hoo. That makes me feel good. White. Here on the white snow, we have three white engines. Veronica, who do you think we should have go down? Stanley gets on here a lot because we just don't have that many white engines. Man, we're having some good jumps today, folks. 25 and a half inches. Welcome, Stanley. What color is it going to be? Yellow. We got three yellow engines. Sodor Weather Tracker, another one of our winter only engines. This thing actually turns as the wheel turns. Oh, that was the farthest we've ever had. And he didn't track weather that far at all, folks. I think he is disqualified. Red. We got three red engines. Veronica, do you have any idea who you want? One of the Arsdale miniatures. It is Mike. He is just a tiny little guy. Oh, a little bit of a disappointment for Mike. What is that, 15 and a half inches for the Arsdale engine. Green. Three important green engines here, guys. Which one do you think is gonna be the best jumper? One of the most unique body styles on all of Sodor. This is Jack Frost Percy. He does not look happy at all. What a great jump. He actually made it on the gold track though, folks. Unreal, Jack Frost Percy makes 31 inches. Back to the color wheel. Let's see what color we're gonna get now. It's gonna be a blue. Here is Christmas Thomas wearing his Santa cap. We hardly ever use this guy at all, don't we, honey? Sometimes we use it, sometimes we don't use it. Sometimes. Christmas time Thomas, and he has a long ways to go if he wants to get in the final 21 and a half inches for Christmas Thomas. And it is time for yellow once again. I expect big things from Royal Bunting Steven, so we're gonna run Stepney right now and see how he does. Stepney, he's old, but at least he's yellow. Go! Oh, that's a full start for Stepney. He'll get one more try. Go. Stepney coming down, and there's a good jump for him, and wow, he actually made it pretty far there. What is that? Uh, 24. 24 and a half for Stepney. Ooh, red. You know what, we haven't used him in a while. Let's check out this version of James Wood. From late 2017, here is a James Wood. This is Snowy James. We only bring this James out during our winter festivities as well. Ready? Set, go. Wow, good jumping, good. He really, and look, he's on the gold track too now, folks. Uh, 31 and a half. 31 and a half for Snowy James. Wow, Thomas Wood in the house. Red. Thomas Wood, Young Bao, fully painted, looking good, representing China. Let's see how he does for Team Red. Ready? Set, go. Oh, wow, he didn't make it past the bridge, so he gets another shot at this. Let's see how he'll do. Ready? Set, go. Come. Oh, wow, he just did terrible. Unfortunately, Young Bao is disqualified. Team White. Interesting choices for Team White, Veronica. 
chooses instantly. It's musical candy cane cards, Sodor Candy Company, special delivery. What happens when we open the door? Oh, we get candy canes and a lot of songs. And that turned the music off. Nice jump for candy cane card with that musical speaker. What is that, 16 inches? Yellow. Dun dun. Royal Bunting Steven, out of all the Stevens we have, I think this one has jumped the least amount. Are you ready? Whoa! Royal Bunting Steven, like all the Stevens before him, right off the track. Uh, luckily he missed the train this time, but he did take out the Winter Village Station. Blue. And it's a blue Christmas without you. This is Winter Wonderland Thomas. I love his snow shovel. I really got to confess. This is one of my favorite Thomases. Uh, I don't think that snow shovel is going to help him out at all, but at least he's covered with snow. Go. And that was a little bit rough. I think that shovel really bothers him on the hills. Well, that will count, and that'll be a big disqualification for Winter Wonderland Thomas. You're still one of my favorites, though, fella. White. And someone's dreaming of a white Christmas. Uh, invisible white Christmas, maybe. Merlin the Completely Visible, one of our favorite engines here with those three big smokestacks. Let's see how he will do. Oh, Merlin, he got a little bit hung up there. Still made it through the ramp, 12 inches, but that was a little bit tough. Ooh, purpley pink. Charlie, somehow Charlie always does really good at these competitions and I don't know why. He's such a jokester. Charlie coming down. Oh, and it's a little bit of a hard jump for him. 15 and a half inches for number 14. Oh, and it's purple again. I wonder who she'll pick, folks. Shima of India, this is the Thomas Wood version. We took a poll of our audience and everyone agreed that Wood was a little bit better than Thomas Wood and Railway. And that's a much better, oh, and she's on the gold track, folks. Unreal, she makes it. 31 inches, Ashima makes it to the gold track. Well, only one color remains, and that is green. We've got two green engines. Guys, who do you want? Snow-covered Percy, he also has that big snow shovel. I don't think he'll do as well as his friend Thomas. Let's find out. Here he comes, oh, and that snow shovel. He did make it past the bridge, unfortunately. <laughs> That snow shovel got caught up in here. Poor, poor Percy. Our final green engine, our final engine actually all together, number 22 of the narrow gauge engines. It is Luke, we'll see how he does. Go! Here he comes. Rise of the Skywalker, unreal. Unbelievable display. Luke also makes it past the track, off the track and he lands on the track. This might just be our best showing ever. Seven engines making it to the second round by landing on that gold track or after. Three engines made it off track. Christmas Light Sydney, Royal Bunting Stephen, and Luke. Snowy Rosie makes it 34 inches. Snowy James makes it 31 and a half inches. And at 31 inches, it's a tie between Ashima and Jack Frost Percy. We're gonna race all these engines again to see who the best of the best is. Purple. Our two purple engines, who's it gonna be? You want Rosie? Yeah. Snowy Rosie going down a slippery track. And it's another big jump. Looks like her front wheels came off a little bit. She still managed to make it 20 inches. Wow, Snowy Rosie. Ooh, red. Only one red engine, but at least he's splendid. And here he is, Snowy James. Let's see how he does in his second run. Snowy James, a little bit easy down, and he goes, and he'll only make it 18 inches. Not good enough to pass the leader, Rosie. Green. Two green engines, which one do you think we should have? Jack Frost Percy doing very surprising last round. We'll see if he can do that again. Oh, rather disappointing. Only 15 inches for Jack Frost Percy. Yellow. Royal Bunting Steven, the rocket. Let's see how he is. And it's another big win. He lands on track and the Lego holiday train goes past. Unbelievable. Royal Bunting Steven. Whoosh. Blue. Only one blue engine. Christmas Light Sydney probably forgot what he's doing up here. And it's a big jump and oh! Unreal, looks like we're having a third round as our second engine makes it off track. Green. Luke, number 22, and he is narrow gauge. Let's see how he does. 
Nice big jump, not enough to make it on the gold track. His wheels are still on the wood. Look at that, he's like right at the line with the magnet, wow. 28 inches, Ashima Thomas Wood, the very last engine in the second round. Let's see if she can make it to the third. Nice, oh, looks like she got hung up on the tower again, 11 inches for Ashima. The little green engine that could, Luke, he will come in third place in this jump representing green, good job, Luke. But we still have two engines to battle it out for first as we enter the third round. Christmas Light Sydney, a surprise, and Royal Bunting Steven looking for another title for Team Steven and for Team Yellow. Yellow, Royal Bunting Steven will go first in the third round. Let's see if he can get off the track again. Ah. Boop, oh wow. He hit the train. And Royal Bunting Steven for the third time comes off the track and he hit the train, which is not having a Star Wars Lego fight on it at all. A tough act to follow for Christmas Light City. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, but his wheels came off, unreal. Christmas Light City, 18 inches, will finish in second place because his wheels came off. A great showing though for our Christmas time engine. Folks, Luke will finish in third place and Christmas Light City does so good, he finishes in second. But today's big winner is Royal Bunting Steven getting his Christmas lights from a reindeer and from Santa Claus. Uh, another victory for the Steven, surprisingly enough. The real big story I think was actually Sydney, Christmas Light Sydney, wow.